All right, we are ready to put some stripes on today. We've been practicing a little bit. Uh, I'm going to put this green carbon fiber looking replica. See how that goes. And uh, we'll just give her a shot. See if we can do it. Susan's ready. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> All right. We'll get to cutting and stuff and uh, show you a little bit about what we're using. Whatever. We're using this knifeless uh, vinyl Pinsel. tape. Uh, you just take this roll of tape, and I'll show it here, here in a minute when we're working with it. It's about a quarter inch and it has a really, really fine thread in it. I don't know if you can see it in the picture or not. But it has a real fine thread in it, and I'll show you that. You just lay it down in whatever design, straight design, whatever you want. And then you put this over the top of it, and say your two lines are coming through here. Then you simply pull up the line, and it cuts the vinyl and leaves whatever you want it to leave. So we're going to see it, give it a try. We've watched the video, so... You know we're professionals now. <laughs> so we'll see what we can do. So this is the thread. You can see a piece crossed here. It's tape that has a really, really fine piece of thread in there that will cut vinyl. On my particular line that we're doing right here, it's a straight line. So I'll mark that one and then I'll move the front edge down about I don't know, three or four inches, whatever I decide on. And then I'll run another piece of this tape. So I'll get that ran and, uh, and then I'll show you after I get done. Okay, you simply lay your, simply lay your tape on the laser light as you go and you should end up with a straight line. That's all there is to it for laying the tape. Now you will lay some vinyl wrap on top of that. Okay, we've got it all on here now. You can see our two lines of, of uh, thread that's underneath the vinyl. We squeegeed it down, and then we just put a piece that's a little bigger, lay it over your threads like that. Uh, this stuff comes in a five-foot row. You can get it 100 foot long, but it's it's only five foot wide so if you're just needing a little dab like we needed why well, you get these in five foot pieces so that makes us have a splice uh, so this is how they say to make a butt splice you put a piece of thread under it and cut the, both pieces we will see if this works or not Okay, that made the cut. You can see the see the side of the string. Now we get well. Let's see if we can get this top piece taken off of here first. Reminder of your 
your string tape out. Okay, now we're going to do the most dangerous thing known to man. Get by our Oratex with a razor knife. That's always a scary process. Don't try this at home, kids. And that's how you make a proper butt splice, it says. You can see the lines are off just a hair, but I don't think you'll notice that when you get back. A, if I was a professional, I would line those up, I guess, but I'm not. All right, let's take the big tapes off now. Is this the bottom one? You said it's going across the top, so I'm assuming if it went over that one, it is the bottom one. That's what you told me, that you put it over the top. Ooh, I think it's going to the top. Evidently, I cut the bottom string. I probably actually left more than you probably don't need that much, but you want enough that it don't pull from the bottom. And when you get to where your butt joint is, you want to put your thumb over both pieces and then it goes right on through them without lifting the one you're coming into. tightly on the part that's staying and you remove what you don't want.
Now you have to remove your thread tape. You have to be really careful on these thin spots because it will lift your vinyl. Alright, after you get it all pulled out, then you just squeeze it back down the edges. Look for any air bubbles along the way. It don't make air bubbles too bad because it's got air release channels, but it will make an air bubble. I think it's the warmer the better for laying this stuff. That's why we run this. We've got uh, close to 70 in here today. And we're, we heated this side up with this propane tank here. That's how you do it. It works pretty slick. I watched a few videos on it and, and uh, cut a few pieces and did, did a couple sample runs. But uh, it makes a pretty nice lay down. It wraps good around your door frame. It uh, seems to be very pliable stuff. It's just so we'll. See how good it stays on. You can take it off anytime you want to. It's a on and off. You know, people take it on and off their cars all the time. So that is the easy one. On up here on the hood, we'll have a little design. Probably won't, I ain't gonna bore you with it, but it comes on up here and it'll be straight here, but the bottom curves down, curves down and curves back up. Uh, maybe let Susan do that side. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know he won't <laughs> but uh, <laughs> anyway don't be afraid to put a stripe on anything it's uh, really easy really works good the laser light that is excellent I just I don't, that just crossed my mind about making a straight line I thought well there's nothing straighter than a laser so that worked real good so we're going to see if we can't finish the stripes up on this thing I'll give you a shot of the front one up here when we're done all right we got her all done this is what we end up with we run a, a black pin stripe on top we're debating whether Susan thinks it needs a pin stripe on bottom I don't know Seems like a lot of them just runs pinstripe on top. I don't know why it would hurt to go ahead and box them in, but who knows. But that's what we ended up with. Uh, I don't know if I can get back far enough for you to see. Got a light bulb burnt out in the back so you can't see it very good. That's kind of what it looks like right there. So that's uh, all dressed up and no place to go. <laughs> Yeah, we'll start on the other side tomorrow. It took us, I don't know, probably three hours for us to figure everything out and get this put on. So it's pretty simple, very cheap. I think it's uh, 45 or $50 for all, all the stuff to do both sides. So, And we'll have enough for some stripes if we want any. So it's uh, this is just vinyl car wrap is what we used. 
seems to be what most people use on them. So have a good one. We'll see you next time. Any words of wisdom, Susan? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's got words. She just won't put them on video. <laughs>